MEG stands for Magnetoencephalography. It's a functional neuroimaging instrument that records very weak uh, magnetic uh, signals that are coming from the cortical mantle of the brain. So it allows us to characterize brain function in a completely non-invasive fashion. We use magnetoencephalography as a complementary tool to facilitate the diagnosis and the surgical planning in patients with epilepsy and brain lesions that require um, surgical treatment. Lauren was just at a place where her seizures were getting out of control. In January, Lauren had her third brain surgery, but this one was a little different. She had a hemispherectomy that uh, brought them down to zero seizures. So we are celebrating today is 81 days of no seizures. The MEG provides a roadmap by providing localization information of what areas contribute to a specific function, but not only is telling us where the activity is happening, but as well when this activity is taking place in the brain. If this technology would have been available to her the first time, that would have been the only surgery that she would have needed. So I'm hoping that that will be um, the same benefit for other children as well. There are only 35 centers in the United States that, uh, or institutions that they have a MEG available. We are the first one in the state of Florida, so we are pioneers. That is amazing that Florida Hospital has this technology available to them. People will be coming from all over, probably the nation, just to come and have this technology for their children.